Hi, Chef Sullivan here, and welcome back to my channel. This is my side loading gun cotton combustion chamber design. This is a breaching test. I watched a video about primitive muzzle loading rifles and how they created the barrels. And after each barrel was, was um, finished, they breach tested it. They loaded it with four times the amount of black powder that they would normally use in firing the weapon. And uh, this was to ensure that they wouldn't have a, um, you know, a barrel explode in someone when they were firing it. So this test is to ensure that my design will be able to handle safely 0.25 grams of gun cotton for each load. If you've seen me load my gun cotton into, my, into the chamber, I'm typically using about this much. And this is fluffed up gun, gun cotton, so if you see my fluffing up video, this has all been fluffed up. So the volume may look a little larger, but, uh, but I've weighed these out on my scale, and um, about four of these come to a gram. So I did some tests that I tested it up to, um, well I've tested it with twice the load and three times the load with the paper rockets. And each time the paper rocket was destroyed. You wouldn't want that to be your finger, or your face. It's just ripped and spurned. So this paper, this paper cardboard tube rockets, they can only handle about this much. And that's plenty because this is what you saw um, the cardboard rocket piercing the watermelon with, with this, this type of load. And this will shoot up one of these cardboard tube rockets, you know, easily five, six, seven hundred feet in the air. So instead of destroying each rocket every time I uh, do this test, I'm going back to my original projectile, which is corks. I think these corks are actually creating more pressure than, um, than was the paper rockets. Because first of all, these corks won't rupture. And second of all, they are very, very loud when they go off. It sounds more like a gun when it goes off. So I'm gonna recreate my um, original breach testing I'm going to start with two times the normal load, which is about 0.5 grams. We're going to breach test with three times the normal load, 0.75 grams. We're going to go up to a gram, four times the normal load. Now, when I tried four times before, just just fitting it into the side burning the side loading chamber broke my uh, nichrome wire in there. So I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to go to ridiculous five times the normal load. But if it'll fit and it'll ignite, then I want to try it. Because I want to be positively sure that this is going to be safe for this amount of gun cotton. Um, I've designed this as a pistol as well. And the pistol design is, is quite a bit more dangerous because um, unlike the uh, shoulder mounted rocket launcher, there's no protection, protection around the outside of the tube. So I'm gonna load these with some cork. We're gonna start with, well, we'll start with 2X because we know what 1X does. These are actually synthetic corks. I'm not sure what it's made out of, but it's not an actual cork material. It's got a little bit more heft than an actual cork does, but it fits in this tube very, very tightly. That's gonna create a lot of pressure and that's what I want because I want to be sure that this is going to be a safe design. 2x gun cotton load 0.5 grams breach test. Three, two, one. I love that smell. I was able to recover that cork. It's in good shape. So 
if I can see if I can feel any air pressure loss. Really tight seal. It's not a perfect airtight seal. To get it airtight, you really have to tighten these things down super, super tight and seal them. And I don't, I'll, this needs to be removed and cleaned. In fact, occasionally you have to clean it and replace the nichrome wire in there. All right, it's time for 3X. 3X breach test in three, two, one. You know, what I'm noticing is downrange I have unburnt gun cotton. This is a, a whole gram of gun cotton. There's a video on the internet. There's a video on the internet where they show six grams of cotton drilled in, in, and plugged into a boulder about this big about six times this much and it just shatters the boulder crazy powerful so this is we're pushing the limits and, and that's what we want to do on a breach test we want to ensure that this thing with loaded with this much gun cotton will always always remain strong enough to support it I don't want anybody creating pipe bombs I don't want anybody getting hurt this is just for fun and don't try this. Don't do anything like this at home. I do this kind of stuff so you don't have to. Uh, the last time I tried to load f uh, four times as much cotton in there, I broke the wire. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we'll see. So 4X load is going to be loaded to the top. So there's no way you can even get five times in there unless you compress this stuff first. And if you compress this stuff, when gun cotton is compressed, it detonates instead of def deflagrates. So like uh, in the example when they took six grams of this, they packed it into the, they packed it into the drill, the hole they drilled into the boulder. And you just annihilated it. But that's a 4X load. I don't know if this is going to be successful. I don't know if it's going to, if I broke the wire, I don't know if it's going to just fire normally. I don't know if it's going to blow the hell up. <laughs> Again, don't try this at home, folks. Four times nominal load, one gram breach test in three, two, one. <laughs> Woo. There's quite, there's quite a bit of unburnt gun cotton down range. I'd say almost, I'm not going to pick every bit of it, but there's a, you can see quite a bit of small pieces of unburnt gun cotton down range. So not only is it stupid to put four times as much in it, it's probably quite wasteful.
because I'm just losing, I'm losing a bunch of gun cotton. Just blowing it out the tubes. So really, you know, a quarter of a gram load is all you're ever going to need for launching rockets and having fun. Now there's five times. There's five times. I just feel to the top, people. Do not try this at home. Like I said, this is for educational purposes only. When I'm playing with these designs, the pistol, the rocket, the, the vertical rocket launcher, the uh, um, the shoulder-mounted rocket launcher, all built on this design, I never use more than just one quarter of that gun cotton, and it's plenty, plenty strong enough. 5X, breach test in three, two, one. <laughs> Crap. Holy smack. You know what's funny is I actually see less, I see less unburnt gun cotton. Well, well maybe it just went further. <laughs> Whew. I can't wait to see that in playback. I may get just a little warmth out of the barrel now too. Well, I think that's a successful test of the relative safety of the side loading gun cotton combustion chamber design. It's pretty robust. I see my wires in good shape. It's a little mashed flat from having this whole volume here packed full of gun cotton. But it remained intact. It didn't become a pipe bomb. I didn't produce any leaks, no visible cracks. There you have it. Never load more than 0.25 grams of gun cotton in this side loading gun cotton combustion chamber that I've designed for this PVC pipe. Always be sure you use Schedule 40 PVC pipe, which is rated at 480 pounds per square inch. Always be safe. Always use common sense. And don't try this at home without expert knowledge and adult supervision. But today I think I've shown that um, this is relatively safe. The breach test was successful with up to five times the nominal load of gun cotton. That's about 1.25 grams. And I think I probably even went a little over, maybe 1.3 maybe 1.4 grams of gun cotton. The, the, the side loading chamber was completely packed full of gun cotton and the design was robust. It held pressure. It didn't turn into a pipe bomb. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, if you like that video, then please click like. If you think a friend might like to check it out, then you can share it. If you have comments, questions, suggestions, they go down below. And subscribe to my channel. But only if you think I earned it. <laughs>